I don't like changes. Uh, there's a lot of reasons I don't like changes. It's stressful, gets me all anxious and wound up, uh, but it's kind of a necessary part of life, so maybe we'll try and change some things up. Uh, but as I'm trying to do so, things keep changing around my ability to do so. Let's, let's, let's talk through some things, I guess. So the shed is uh, in a state of disarray trying to get it all where I want it, but uh, I hurt my back, so I can't move things around. I started organizing things and shifting stuff, getting into preparation for pulling everything out of the shed, reorganizing, resituating, and uh, then, yeah, I can't do that for uh, probably another week. <sighs> all right, changes. Let's change all this up. So what we're gonna spend today doing is turning this into something completely different. Well, I guess not too different, but different enough. Okay, we are, uh, well, this is pretty much the contents of the shed after I've emptied it and I'm tired. But uh, we've got a pretty, pretty empty space to work with now, which honestly, I don't know how I fit everything in here. It's, it's a really small space. I mean, this desk is gonna go there. The desk is gonna go there. But I mean, man, there's not much space in here. So uh, let's, let's see how it looks uh, with all of this back in it. Here we go. All right, it's been um, this long. It's, it's been a while, but the room is not finished, but close enough, I think, to share the majority of it. So first things first, uh, I'm not sure when this video is coming out in the sequence of videos. I've got like four videos in the works right now, but what I wanna start off is the new setups for where I'm going to be filming. And uh, let me just actually drop you in one of them really quick. We go like that, and I hop right over here, and normally I have my chair, and this is one of the filming spots. So that's nice to have that. And then I can just pull the camera right on out, and I can come over here to this one, and I can miss sliding you in, but finally get it in that way. Step back, and we've got the blaster wall. I'm zoomed out right now. This one will be zoomed in so you see the blaster wall and not this big light. Uh, and there's gonna be one more over in that corner. I've gotta get it all figured out still and sorted out, but I, I'm I'm looking forward to having like multiple camera angles and all of that and being able to switch between them pretty easily. Okay, so let's break things down bit by bit and I'll kind of go through some of my thought process and all of that. So we've still got a little mini tool rack here with some mini pegboard, uh, not nearly as much as we had before, but I wanted quick access to at least a decent amount of things. Uh, then here is that first filming spot. This is the mount on a, a little arm on a grippy thing over here um, that I can just slide on into. And then if I want to see what's going on, I can plug in my uh, monitor right here and I can see with this C since I don't have a flippy screen on the camera because sadness. I love this light. Um, this diffuser, like this is my main light now that gets some nice kind of well spread shots, but it does, um, it, it takes up a, a it big, it, it big. Uh, so moving on from there, uh, we've still got the blaster wall, though it's not all blasters as this changed a while ago, uh, but it's a myriad of stuff that I enjoy and whatnot. Uh, so I like kind of having more than just Nerf on the wall to represent myself. Uh, and then the desk that was long ways here is now up against the pegboard wall, which uh, I mean, it's kind of a bummer to not have access to every portion of that pegboard wall, but 
it's really nice to be able to just like bounce back and forth on my chair and just it's oh it's i can't i can't put it into words and here's something that i appreciate but no one else is really gonna get to appreciate i was dumb when we first did this room and um I only wanted half of it carpeted because I was going to paint green all over the, the wall and the floor and use it as a green screen and it was just it was too small for that so I had no carpet so I bought like the most affordable area rug that doesn't fit all the way but hey carpet magical. We moved patchboard, added some shelves with some stuff I like, magic, warhammer, lucky duck, anime and video game figures that I like. And that's kind of like my my main setup now that you'll see in videos is kind of like this angle. So I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with this setup, I think. I think it looks nice. It looks even better when the lights are on. And that brings me to light number two. This is oh it's it oh I love it. I love it. I'm just gonna mm. uh this is for top-down shots, so I'm gonna do a lot of my B-roll and stuff on this table now. After moving the patch board, I realized how much of it is full. Like, that filled up, it felt like really quick, and I'm rapidly kind of approaching full on it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do once that is completely full, but that's, uh, I guess it's a problem for another day. Then the main, the main setup. Uh, I've got two monitors and then a nice new TV. I didn't realize how affordable TVs had gotten and that was like way, way cheaper than I had expected. So I'm gonna use that to like check footage, uh, review matches and, and all kinds of good stuff like that. So that was really cool. Um, got all my stuff to stream. I've got my GoPro set up here for uh, stream webcam now, so that's nice. This is the other mount right here. Oh my god, that's blown out in the window. Uh, so the camera pops right in there, and that'll give the view of the blaster wall. And then over here, we've got a disorganized mess on the top three, uh, full of stuff that I need to still kind of sort through and whatnot. But then we've got drawers. Drawers full of all kinds of stuff. Uh, that I can use for filming, use for um, working on blasters, working on other projects, all kinds of things. That That is something I can just open and have a couple things to drop into a shot and make it look nicer. Um, and I've got all kinds of stuff like more camera stuff, uh, 3D printed mag holders for talons, uh, GoPro accessories, batteries, uh, audio equipment, etc., etc. Like each drawer is something its own way. This is for my Talon mags. Like you get the idea. And of course, like I said, this is not refined yet. So like there's still stuff, there's bins, there's backpacks and other stuff over there. And uh, this area is not refined. So there's plenty of things I need to kind of continue uh, sorting out and all of that and get, get refined and get sorted out and fixed. But, I'm pretty pleased with how this has turned out so far. The lighting is just the overhead fluorescent lighting, so it doesn't look great at the moment, but if I turn things on the way they should be, then uh, it will look nice. And then I've got things like my old computer over there uh, with just a small monitor. So like if I wanna be building something or say stream, from that side, I can do that and still monitor things while like say I'm working on a blaster or uh, if I'm painting or something, you know, all random stuff. Or if I wanna play uh, like magic with some friends during quarantine and we all set up like overhead webcam type stuff and like that's a space to do it. And it's just kind of like turned into a versatile style uh, workspace for me that's really nice. I just, I can't, I can't overstate how nice it is to have space. I didn't have this kind of space beforehand. Uh, it was so, it felt so cramped. And I just, I feel better in this space. So something I could say about this is if you have not thought about reorganizing and rearranging your personal workspace, consider it because if you've had it for years, or even just an extended period of time and you've added to it, it's possible that you have lost a lot of functionality and a lot of space and a lot of freedom in that room or whatever you have that reorganizing and resituating and going through stuff can really help free up. And I can't forget this little drawer right here that has stuff uh, for random like filming stuff or battery chargers 
uh, or game equipment, stuff like that. Uh, and, and some Warhammer stuff we'll maybe talk about in the future. But just having this, and actually this rolls out. It's on wheels. I'm not going to move it at the moment because there's uh, it's it, it, it's kind of heavy with all stuff in it. But I can move that out to the middle of the room, and doing so allows me to have like a 360 angle on something I may want to film. So stuff like that's just really nice, you know. Like taking the time to think about like functionality and like sketching out the room, the space, the dimensions of everything can really help. Uh, so it's something I definitely recommend for people when you are considering altering your workspace. So like I said, there is a lot I could still go over and go through. This was just a really brief kind of walking through of the space of this like 9 by 10 or 9 by 11 room. It's not a big room and this is I think the most optimized I've been able to get this space and it feels so much bigger than it was. And that's just a huge thing. So uh, let me know if there's anything you saw in this room that either you thought was a good idea or you have a better idea for or how you may have approached uh, something like this. Basically, I just wanted something that was going to feel more suited to my personal needs. And I wanted to share that with all of you because I mean, you saw what this looked like beforehand. It was, as I said, in a state of disarray. And now I'm pretty happy with how this setup is. I mean, I'm sure over time I'll find things that I can tweak and fine tune and improve and all that. But uh, I think this is a really good starting point and I'm happy about that. But I would love to hear your thoughts. And maybe this has given one or two of you some ideas or thoughts on how to update your personal space. I'm just glad that I have something that better suits my needs for more than just Nerf, for streaming, for my other hobbies that I'm allowing myself to get back into. It's a definite improvement. So with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.